so loud here. I'm so sorry. everyone, if you've been around my channel for a while, you may remember I did a couple videos of letting an app choose my outfits for a week. I'll link them above if you haven't seen them yet. These have been my most watched videos and have sparked a lot of questions about which closet app I would recommend, Starbook or Pureball. These are my favourite wardrobe apps that I have been using on the daily for years now. I have tried many different apps, but I think these ones are the ones that have stood the test of time and I think they are the best of what's available at the moment. So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the two for you all. So if you are trying to decide which app to invest your time and potentially money into, then stick around. I've been using Starbook every day since June 2014, so that's six years now. Overall, all things considered, it is my favourite closet app. Its interface is user-friendly and pleasant to look at, the style stats are incredibly helpful, and it has so many features. It has everything you could possibly want to organise your wardrobe and more. It costs $3.99, but I think it's worth it. I never buy paid apps, but this is my one exception. It was actually $4.99 when I bought it. So the price has actually gone down, but the value of the app just keeps going up. Let's delve into some of its features. Not only can you take photos of all your clothing and cut them out inside the app with great precision, you can also record any details about the item that you think might be helpful, like colour, fabric, size, brand, season and price. Organise into descriptive categories and you'll be able to find whichever piece of clothing you're looking for. You'll never lose another piece of clothing to the back of your wardrobe again. Looks is basically Starbucks version of outfits. Drag different clothing items together and experiment with different combinations. Store notes, tags and seasons for each outfit so you can search through your outfits by categories or note keywords. You can also share your outfits via email, Facebook, Twitter or Tumblr directly from the outfit editor. The calendar keeps track of what you are wearing each day. It helps the app figure out stats like what you are wearing most and what you haven't worn at all. Each month it lets you know your most worn piece. If you are so inclined, you can even plan out what you are going to wear each day in advance. This is a place for all your inspiration, from celebrities to runway models, lookbooks to street style. I didn't really use this feature when I first downloaded the app, but since then I have seen the value in it. I save all my outfit inspiration from Pinterest, YouTube and Instagram into here, so that I can base my outfits around my favourite combination. Star Stats is a very handy section which lets you know how much you've paid all up for your wardrobe and which colours you have the most of. You can then look at all items of the one colour to help you find matching items. You can also see which outfits and pieces you've worn the most and the least, and which are your best and worst cost per wear pieces. It's a great tool for helping to cut down your wardrobe because it makes it blaringly obvious which pieces you're getting use out of and which you could probably do without. This section has some helpful articles and tips on everything to do with fashion. The style guides and Q&As with style experts are the most helpful in my opinion. As well as organisation tips, clothing care reference guides and an expert tailor you can supposedly send your questions to. I haven't used the last one myself yet, but it sounds good. In the size tracker you can save your body measurements, like bust, inseam and hips. Clothing sizes by types, like tops, bottoms or dresses, and save exceptions for different brands. It's the perfect app to keep it all in one place. I don't actually use the shopping section as it doesn't really include the types of brands that I buy from, 
but I can see how this would be great to use as well. You can search by store or brand. You can also make looks for pieces before you buy them to make sure that they go with pieces from your existing wardrobe. If only the stores were Australian. You're in luck if you're from America though. I have noticed recently that you can add your own website bookmarks within the app and clip images to include in your wardrobe that way. You can keep a wish list across stores of what you're looking to buy and add text items to a shopping list, which is good to keep track of items that you're eventually looking to purchase. The packing section helps you figure out what you would like to take on holidays with you to different destinations. Not so helpful at the moment, but hopefully in a few years we'll be using this again. You can add looks for each day you were away, and it will put every clothing item included in those outfits into a checklist of things you need to pack. You can also add text items of things you need to pack that aren't in your wardrobe. I find this section helpful in planning out capsule wardrobes too. I used it when I did my 30 in 30 April that I did a while back. This is a somewhat new feature that would be easy to miss if you weren't looking for it. It's the double arrow button within the look section. I'm unsure whether this outfit shuffle button has any special algorithm, whether it takes into account color or most worn items or anything like that, or whether it picks totally random items and just chucks them together and hopes that it might turn out all right. From past experience, my guess is, is that it is randomly generated because most of the outfits it suggests really don't go well together. It also doesn't have any way for you to tell the app whether you like the outfit it has suggested or not. So it can't learn your style and adjust accordingly. You choose the outfit categories that you want it to put together and it will suggest 10 different options for you to choose from. You can then save them in a look if you like any of them. I like to use the outfit shuffle when I have a piece of clothing that I'm struggling to style. The double arrow button shows up in the clothes section as well, so you can shuffle looks together for that particular item as well. Sometimes it will give me a suggestion that I never would have thought to put together, but it is actually really cute. Mostly the whole outfit doesn't go together, but if you go into the suggestion, you can just delete anything you don't like about it. When I wore these suggested outfits for a week, I was pleasantly surprised. None of the outfits were awful. I did have 10 to choose from though, so chances are one out of 10 would be okay. And it turned out that I was a big fan of two of them. I think it was completely a fluke though. It's hard to say how long exactly I have been using Pureful because I don't use the calendar feature in this app, but it's been at least a few years. It came out a few years after I started using Starbook. And while it does have some cool features, all in all, for me, it doesn't outshine Starbook. I use it in conjunction with Starbook. And it's also free, so you can't go wrong there. This is the closet screen. You have to just keep scrolling and scrolling to get to the top because it's right at the bottom as it's organized alphabetically. You can use the filter button, but you still have to scroll a lot depending on how many items are in the category. There is a lot of scrolling in this app in general and it's a bit of a time waster. The outfit section is much the same. When cutting out the background of your clothes, it only has one slider bar. So you often can't get a clear cutout. I do like that you can put in what pattern the clothing piece has though. You can also add additional images to the item, which I haven't done, but it could be useful. There is a section where you can give the clothing item a rating as well, but I'm not really sure what this would accomplish. The outfit section is much the same as Starbucks, but you don't get to choose which category of item you want to add in. You just have to scroll through every single item in your closet to find the one piece that you're looking for at the bottom of the screen. Lots more scrolling, lots more time wasting. In the outfit section, it has a place where you can save the outfits that the app has suggested for you and a section where all the looks that were styled by the community are saved. Pureful also has a packing list function, but it is very limited. Enter a name for the list and add clothes. 
that's it. <laughs> this section includes insights like top 25 value per wear, least and most worn pieces, not in calendar, not in outfit, closet value, and item and outfit count. When I go into these insights though, it tells me I need to upgrade to the pro version. This is a section that brings in a more social aspect to the app. You can scroll through outfits other users have put together from their wardrobes. You can put together outfits for others from their wardrobes and also ask others to put together outfits for you from your own wardrobe. For some reason, this section always seems super slow to load whenever I go into it and sometimes glitches out altogether crashing the app. The app in general is actually quite glitchy and crashes quite often no matter what I'm doing. I don't often style people from their own wardrobes because I find it very annoying that when I go to style them, you can't search by categories through their wardrobe. It's just a constant scroll of tiny images at the bottom of the screen of everything they own. It makes it rather hard to get a good idea of what they have. The community feature is a good idea, but I think it needs finessing. The idea of the style me or suggest an outfit feature is that you pick the categories of clothing you want to wear and it will generate an outfit for you. You can then swipe right or left whether you like it or not. It apparently remembers and learns from your swiping. So it should suggest outfits that are more in your style the more you swipe. I've been using it for years, so it has had plenty of time to learn my style. It definitely suggests much better outfits now than when I first started using the app. A recently added feature though is if you like an outfit it has suggested to you, except for one piece of clothing, for example, the shoes, you can switch out just that one piece of clothing and it will suggest a different pair of shoes. When I let Pupil choose my outfits for a week, I was expecting embarrassing outfits, but none of them were in the slightest. The only fault that I could find with it is that it suggested an outfit to me that was far too overdressed for the activities that I had planned for that day, but I can't really fault it for that. None of the outfits were really that exciting to me, but none of them were bad either. Pure has many of the same features as Starbook, but the overall layout is clunkier and less appealing. Each feature seems to be less thought out and intentional on how you would use it. You can still remove the backgrounds of the items you input into it, but it doesn't remove them anywhere near as well as Starbook. Very similar to Starbook, if not clunkier and missing a few features. Pure is slightly better than Starbook in a couple of areas. It has extra categorizing of your clothing by occasion, rating, and pattern. You can even put a location in for your clothing if you're keeping your clothing in different locations across your home. It has a social aspect where you can interact with other users of the app and even ask them to style outfits for you with pieces from your own wardrobe. The best bit about this app though, and the reason why I'm using it alongside Starbook, is its style me or suggest an app feature. This feature actually takes into account the information you have inputted into each clothing piece to make combinations. Some of the suggestions don't work still, but it is way better than Starbucks version of the outfit shuffle. So for a quick recap of everything I discussed, Starbook is my favorite app because its interface is clearer and easier to use. The style stats section is more informative and helpful and it has more features in general. I would recommend this app if you want the whole wardrobe organizing experience. That said, I also use Pupil as well and I would recommend this app if you are just wanting the app to suggest outfits for you, as its algorithm works better and you can actually tell the app whether you like its suggestions or not, allowing it to learn what you like. It also has a social element to it where you can interact with other people on the app. You can start outfits from their wardrobe and request them to start outfits for you from your wardrobe. It's a great source of inspiration if you're needing help styling pieces from your wardrobe. Regardless of which app you decide to go with, you have to dedicate a significant amount of time when you first download it. Taking photos of all your clothes and entering all the data into your app. When I first started, I did it a little at a time. Every day I would photograph what I was wearing that day, so the task didn't seem that monstrous. Now that all my clothes are already in there, I only have to add any new purchases that I make. I can usually find pictures of new purchases online, 
which are professional looking and already have a white background, making them much easier to cut out. I think it's worth the initial effort for all the organizational prowess that the app offers. If you would like help getting either app set up for your wardrobe, I offer a package on my website called the Tech Savvy Add-on, which will help you do just that. I'll link to it in the description box. So that is my comparison of Starbook and Purepool. Have I left you with any unanswered questions? Do you already use these apps and love it too? Do you have any future video ideas? These are all things I'd love for you to comment. I'll be waiting to hear from you in the comments section below. But for now, see you later.